Does anyone have the answer to why certain videos on LinkedIn end up with thousands of views, thousands of shares, thousands of comments, and basically go viral? And the ones on Instagram as well, as well as Facebook. Does anyone know why that happens? What, what is it about them? Why, why do they become the special snowflakes that they are? Anyone know? Anyone? Anyone got the answer? I don't know why I'm looking around. There's nobody here. It's just me. No, truth be told, there is no magic formula. Sometimes it's just luck. Sometimes having a massive following helps. Sometimes dramatic, shocking, or visually, you know, attractive and appealing subject matter helps. But there are some things you can do that will increase engagement or help you with your engagement. If you're wanting to put out more videos on the social media, which is something that I'm doing, because uh, I need to, I've been absolutely dreadful and, and neglectful of my social media platforms. Then there's, so there's some things you can do to help increase engagement because I do this myself. When I'm scrolling through my LinkedIn feed, there's some, there is a lot of videos that are just far too easy to just scroll past. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Uh, heading on over to LinkedIn. The, a video like this, for example, and I don't mean to pick on whoever posted this video in particular. This is a typical example of a video somebody's posted that me personally, I would just scroll past without giving it a second glance. Now, fortunately, our videos on LinkedIn play without audio by default, or else it would just be an absolute nightmare, uh, just ear bleeding nightmare. But if I was to play this, I mean, what? what I, I've lost interest already. It, it looks nice, no doubt, right? Whether, it, whether this is, C, well, it's not CGI, but, you know, I'm just, I don't know what, I don't know what it is. I don't know what he's getting at. I don't know what he's trying to show, right? I've got to read the blurb above. I've got to click see more and I'm not that interested. But if there was more to the video to grab my attention and pull me in, then it needs to be immediately hard hitting visual content to make me stop. Because you scroll down, I don't want to scroll down too much because I don't want to, you know, it's LinkedIn and I don't want to show too many people on there, but a company that kind of does it right, as much as they do post a lot of absolute rubbish, is the likes of Cheddar. Uh, these guys get posted all over the place, but when you click a Cheddar video, they've got immediately captions, color, they've got the, the video itself changes camera angles on a regular basis so immediately your attention sort of drawn into it but you don't have to listen to it to understand what's going on because you can read at the bottom what people are saying they've captioned the voices so if I was to play the video the audio Some people don't have a home. Come to our house. so they've got you, you, don't, you don't need audio and that grabs people's attention and it, it makes them stop and you know, that, that's all that that's all that it's for. That's all you need from your video. No, nothing more, nothing less. It's just for people to watch it. And it stops them scrolling past it. So, how do you do this? And this ties in with today's video sponsor, which is Picto Story. Picto Story are obviously very closely linked and part of the same family as a service that I've, uh, I've had an involvement with very recently, which was Picto Chart. Basically, what you do is you ingest a video you've already created, put it into Picto Story, and it will automatically transcribe any vocals, any voice in the video, and it'll convert it into text, which matches in time with the vocals. And then it'll convert that video into a format ready for social media, which you can then export from Picto Story ready for your social media site. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you me doing it because I need to do more of this. <laughs> I really do. So I've kind of done a lot of the work already. This is my very recent All Autodesk's Apps Explained video where I spent 50 minutes talking about every Autodesk app they have at the moment and I've chopped it down to 55 seconds, where at the very end, I've sort of left it on a cliffhanger by Henry, saying, but what about Fusion 360? You see, Autodesk and Fusion 360 appear to be confusingly similar. They are. So what's the deal? What is the deal? Well, see the full version at this. So I've left it on this, this sort of cliffhanger. See the full version at my YouTube channel. So I'll render this out with that as the cliffhanger. 
an important part is the aspect ratio of the video. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, every video platform is based upon resolution slash aspect ratio. It's the size of the video. Your average TV is 16 by 9, which is usually 1920 by 1080. Social media tends to be either one by one, which is basically just a square, which would be 1080 by 1080, or four by five. So I've set my sequence to four by five. So if I go into my sequence settings, I've set it to 1200 by 1500, which is a four by five aspect ratio. My original video was 16 by nine, which is why it looks a bit weird in area. So I've had to sort of take the clips and sort of move the footage around a bit. So it tries to, <laughs> it can fit in as best as possible, but some people's heads are a bit cut off in areas, but it's, it's the best I could do. It, it kind of, yeah, no. <laughs> you know, I'm not built to video edit. It's just there's something, it's an, it's a necessary evil. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, now that I've done this bit and I've got all the transitions all set in, I'm going to export this to my desktop and I'll call this the, the Picto Story Apps Explained version. And then we're going to go for H.264 format and we're going to match the source. Should we go for a high bit rate? We don't really need too much have a high bit rate, maybe just 10, yeah, 10 megabits per second. That'll do. And then just export that. Uh, this is using hardware acceleration on a Dell Precision with a Quadro A5000, which literally is done already. <laughs> like that's, yeah, that's how quick that takes to render. <laughs> it's mental. There's multiple ways you can get your videos into PictoStory. If you've already had like a Zoom meeting or if you've got videos already in Google Drive, you can import them straight. You can link your, your online cloud accounts or your Zoom areas into PictoStory or you can just record straight from a webcam, right? You can just have a chat straight in your webcam and convert that and it'll transcribe what you're saying. But I'm gonna upload from my computer, go on my desktop, pick that, tell it what language I'm speaking so it knows what to transcribe and then in it goes. So this is gonna take a couple of minutes. It's gonna upload it up from my laptop over my Wi-Fi into Pick the Story, which it doesn't take that long and then it's gonna transcribe it and then I'll pick this up once it's done. But honestly, mate, it doesn't take that long at all. Probably just like 20 seconds or so, but you don't want to sit and wait for me to just do that. So we'll pick this up in a second. And it's done. That took like 20 seconds or something, mate. That was absolutely crackers. Really quick, right? So we're going to jump into the project and we're going to see the transcription on the left and then my video on the right-hand side. Now it defaults to one to one by square, but I'm going to change that to my, I know my resolution or aspect ratio was four by five. Do I want a title? Uh, so this is the video, if we play it through, uh, it matches absolutely perfectly. Yeah, I think I do want a title, but I want to change the font to something a bit more professional looking. So let's just go for Hind. No, I don't like Hind. Uh, let's go for Inter. Inter's a bit better, but I think I want it a bit smaller. Let's go for 20. And we'll change the title of this to uh, All Autodesk. Order, order deck, order desk, apps explained. Uh, in fact, no, I do need that a bit smaller. Put that down to 15. And then we'll move that up just a bit so it's near the top. You can see it snaps right in the middle. Handy. And then for the transcription at the bottom, we'll change that to be the same font just so it's nice and tidy. So we'll drop that down to Inter as well. I want to make that bold and then enter and because this is white and some of the footage I know is white as well I'm going to drop a black background which has got a bit of a bit of a border behind it and let's just make that a little bit bigger drop that sort of around about actually do you know what I want that maybe a bit more central so it grabs people's attention and I want to make the font a bit bigger so let's maybe make this about 25 Right, the transcription itself. Right, I've got a really strong Northern English accent, so even Google and YouTube's AI struggled to, to pick up what I was saying. But this has done an incredibly good job of, of, of detecting what I've said. So if you follow what it's saying on the left. This video is gonna be a somewhat simplified overview to every one of Autodesk's. So already, some somewhat simplified overview to 
what did I say? Every one of all of So every, it's not every one, it's every one. And then this should be of Autodesk's apps, of Autodesk's major apps. Every one of Autodesk's major apps. The industry. And then there should be the. It's because I'm speaking really quick. When I was making this video, I was consciously aware that I was covering so much information that I had to speak very, very quickly. And my accent just like really kicked in. So I'm not gonna blame, I'm not gonna blame the transcription. That's entirely on me. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna the go industry through- industry collections, but of course. I'm gonna go through the transcription and correct it. Now I'm just gonna have a quick scan through and see what I can see. Actually, this has done really well. Civil 3D is a civil engineering design documentation solution that supports building information modeling workflows and civil infrastructure projects in its own. It's even got Fusion 360, right? I'm just gonna capitalize that just because I'm, I'm just like that. Nast it even picked up Nastran, man, that is amazing. Uh, inventors and engineers to tool use mostly large wow i mean it's got most things right fusion so it did, yeah i must have said fusion quite quickly there that actually that's almost about it autodesk inventor fusion 360 appear to be confusingly similar so what's it that that like like i think that's almost it you see autodesk inventor and fusion 360 appear to be confusingly similar so what's the deal so if you can imagine seeing this on linkedin now as soon as the video kicks in and starts. So imagine scrolling down. This video is going to be a somewhat simplified overview to every one of Autodesk's major apps. Their industry collections. You betcha, it's AutoCAD. And it's basically the reason why you don't see people hunched over paper and drawing boards anymore. Civil 3D is a civil engineering... That's good enough for you. So I'm going to, I was going to have a quick scan over it offline, and then once I'm happy with it, we'll pick this back up, and then I'll do... Uh, and then I think it's ready for render. So we're going to click export video and we're going to export, uh, happy with the title, click that. So now what it's going to do is it's going to render this into my picture story uh, sort of projects, which is going to, it, it then hosts the video in picture story's own back end. So if you, it, it's actually done. Uh, there you go. Oh, yeah, nearly done. So these are going to be picture story clips. And once that's done, you can share these from pick the story so you can link directly into like so you can maybe share via email you can share directly uh, from pick the story to linkedin or you can download the mp4 that pick the story creates and then upload that straight into i don't know your own website or just upload it straight into facebook linkedin instagram whichever social media website you want to that's the entire workflow which i'm the only time I've stopped and paused this really was to just make a couple of edits to the transcription just so I could carefully scan over it to make sure that I got everything and I didn't miss anything. But that's how quick it is, mate. It's done and I can download it. And there's the, the MP4s there. That's it, finished. That's the work. That's how quick it is. This video is going to be a somewhat simplified overview to every one of Autodesk's major apps, their industry collections. But of course, there is 3ds Max. It's there is an engineer's tool used mostly in medium to large engineering and heavy. And That's outstanding. I, honestly, I, I'm amazed with that. So now that I've got the MP4, like I say, that can be uploaded onto those various websites, and that's a far, far more efficient way, far more eye-grabbing and attention-getting way of posting videos on a social media, something that I'm going to be using to just be less neglectful <laughs> of my own social media websites. So thanks to Pick the Story for sponsoring this video and making me aware that this existed. I did not know. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie, I have manually typed out text before <laughs> to try and get it in line with words. So yes, thank you very much. If you want more information on Pick the Story, if you want to give this a try, links will be in the description. If you've got any promotional codes, again, those will be in the description. If there's any running discounts uh, and you know discount codes on upgrades for Pick the Story, those will be in the description. Highly, strongly suggest you give this a try not even just for social media you can use this again for your own internal company intrawebs is they still got intrawebs or sharepoint sites but thanks again for watching hope you found that enjoyable and interesting and i'll see you in the next one doodles